Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to talk about how we can use the concat function in the pandas package. We'll look at how we can join two series objects together and how we can join two data frame objects together. Let's get started. So first, let's import the package that we'll be using. So we'll import pandas as pd, and then we'll drop down a few lines. Now first, let's talk about how we can concatenate two series together. So let's go ahead and manually create two series. We'll say python series a is equal to pd dot series parentheses and square brackets. We'll pass in the numbers in our series. So one, two, three, four, and five. We'll set a name keyword, and then we'll say python series one, and then we'll set an index. So index will be equal to one, two, three, four, five. We'll drop down and do another one. So Python series B is equal to PD series. And then for this one, let's say six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 with a name equal to Python series two. And then index values equal to, let's say four, five, six, seven, eight. Now to concatenate any two data structures together, we can use the same function concat. So let's concatenate these together using a new variable. We'll say new df from two series is equal to pd.concat. We'll pass in the objects that we want to concatenate together in square brackets. So we'll say Python series A and then Python series B. Type those in. And now we need to specify an axis value. If we set this equal to zero, we're concatenating along the row values. And if we set this equal to one, we're concatenating along the column values. Let's set it equal to zero and then we'll see what it looks like. We'll drop down and say print new df from two series and save our file. We'll open up a command prompt or a terminal and then we'll type in python3 and the name of my file is concatexample.py. So here we set our axis equal to zero so we're concatenating along the row values. We see that we have the index of the first one, one through five, and then we have the index of the second one right below it. These two series are now returned to us in a larger series made up of the two smaller series that we concatenated. But let's say that we wanted a new data frame where each column represents a series. We'll drop down and say new df from two series number two, and then we'll say pd concat. We'll actually go up and copy this and drop it down and paste it, and we'll change the axis value to one. Now we're concatenating along the columns of each of the series. So now when we print, new df from two series, we should have a data frame instead of a series value that has each series as a column. When we execute, we see we get just that. So Python series one is a column in our data frame and Python series two is also a column in our data frame. We see that the series line up on the index values. On the index values that the series doesn't have a value for, we have an NAN return. The ordering of how we put in these series into the concat function is important in how we return them in the data frame. So here, since we put in Python series A as the first value in the concat function, it's returned to us in the first column of our data frame. Now, since we know how to join series together, let's talk about how we can join two data frames together. We'll drop down, and I actually have an Excel sheet that we'll use for the second data frame. So Excel data frame will be equal to pd.read Excel and then the file path is workbook.xlsx. Now when we print Excel data frame, we'll look at this data frame. We'll go down and execute our file. Now from our Excel file, we see that we have three columns, each with five values in it, and they're just letters. So let's see how we can join this Excel data frame to the new data frame that we just created. So we'll create a new variable, new df from two dfs, and we'll say pd concat the same way that we did before, and then we'll pass in the objects of the things that we want to concatenate. So we'll say Excel, df and then new data frame from two series two. We'll join these along the columns so we'll say axis is equal to one and now let's say that we wanted to be able to pull out the individual data from each of these data frames after we join them together. We can use a keyword argument of keys and specify values that we can use to pull out the individual data frames once we concatenate them together. So let's use the values a and then we'll say b for the second one. We'll drop down and say print new df from two dfs. We'll execute your file, and we see that we've joined the data frames together successfully. We also see that using the keyword argument of keys, we've created a multi-index data frame. So now we can pull out all the information from our previous data frames using the keywords A and B. We'll look at how we can do that real quick. So we'll say print new data frame from two DFs, and then we'll use square brackets and pass in the key that we want. So let's say we wanted to pull out all the Excel data frame values that we had before. We'll use the key A since we assigned it right here and we'll drop down an executor script. 
And now using the key A, we see that we were able to return just the Excel data frame that we had previous before we concatenated it. The concat function also gives us a few other keywords that we can use for the logic on the other axis that we're not concatenating along. We can use the join keyword to specify either the union or the intersection of the data frames when we concatenate. We have the ignore index keyword, which we can use to specify if we want to keep the index values or not. And we're also able to specify the index values that we want to concatenate along using the join axis keyword. And that's pretty much it for this video. Concatenating series and data frame objects are very straightforward using the pandas package. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Until next time.